The pyramids of ancient Egypt have always been shrouded in mystery. Their sheer size and engineering complexity have baffled experts for centuries, but perhaps the most intriguing aspect of these iconic structures are their secrets that lie within. For centuries, people believed that the pyramids were merely tombs for the pharaohs of ancient Egypt. However, it is now known that not a single mummy has been found within their walls. All the mummies are lying in the Valley of the Kings. In addition, there are no indigenous Egyptian inscriptions or art in the pyramids. This begs the question, why did the ancient Egyptians go to such lengths to build these gigantic structures? Nikola Tesla's insights on the Great Pyramid Nikola Tesla is undoubtedly one of the most enigmatic and fascinating figures in the history of science. He is often referred to as the ultimate mad scientist, a genius who invented the modern world as we know it. Tesla is widely credited with key ideas leading to the development of technologies such as smartphones, Wi-Fi, and AC electrical supply systems. But perhaps one of the most intriguing aspects of Tesla's life and work is his obsession with the Great Pyramids. He read several books about ancient structures and found that they contained an incredible amount of energy. At that time, electricity was barely known, and Tesla began to consider the probability of the pyramids having some advanced technology lurking within them. Tesla became convinced that the pyramids derived their power from electromagnetism. To him, the pyramids might have been built with some form of crystal energy, and the chambers within them were used to tamper with electromagnetic fields. He also holds a theory that the materials, such as stones used in constructing the Great Pyramid, had energy-storing properties derived from the sun and the moon. He was convinced that the pyramid's unique shape and location made it possible to harness this energy and use it for a range of purposes. This belief provided the inspiration for many of Tesla's most important inventions, including his experimental Wardenclyffe Tower and his designs for generators that could theoretically use the Earth's ionosphere as a source of energy. Tesla's theories about the pyramids were rooted in his belief that there was a hidden mathematical and geometric language that underpinned the universe. He saw the pyramid's triangular shape as a key part of this language and believed that the ratios and angles of the pyramid's construction were designed to amplify its energy-generating capabilities. In 1905, Tesla filed a patent in the U.S. titled The Art of Transmitting Electrical Energy Through the Natural Medium. In this patent, Tesla outlined his designs for a series of generators around the world that would tap the ionosphere for energy collection. He believed that planet Earth itself, with its two poles, was a giant electrical generator of limitless energy, and he sought to harness this energy for the betterment of humanity. Tesla's pyramid-shaped design became known as Tesla's Electromagnetic Pyramid. He believed that by using this design, he could tap into the pyramid's unique energy source and use it to send energy wirelessly across vast distances. So, he decided to build a tower facility that would later spark the whole city. This tower, known today as the Tesla Experimental Station, was situated at the base of Pikes Peak in Colorado Springs. It is also known as the Warden Cliff Tower or Tesla Tower. Tesla was determined to build his pyramid tower stations across the globe, with one prototype reaching as far as Paris, France. He believed the pyramid's locations, in relation to the elliptical orbit of the planet at the equator, were crucial to their energy-generating capabilities. To prove his theories, he built the pyramids at specific locations on the East Coast following the laws of the location of the Pyramids of Giza. Unfortunately, Tesla's discovery and the device went into oblivion following his mysterious death in 1943. However, his legacy and works have continued to influence the scientific community even after his death. Scholars and researchers have studied his theories on the power of the pyramid, which has helped to uncover many of the mysteries surrounding these ancient structures. Tesla's obsession with the numbers 3, 6, and 9. Nikola Tesla was a man of many obsessions, and one of the most intriguing was his belief in the power of numbers 3, 6, and 9. Tesla believed that these numbers were the key to understanding the universe, and he spent much of his life searching for the hidden meaning behind them. Some believe that Tesla's obsession with these numbers was related to his fascination with pyramidal shapes and his belief that there was a fundamental mathematical law and ratio that underpinned the universe. Tesla's fascination with these numbers was not just theoretical, but practical as well. He had a number of strange habits and rituals that were based on these numbers. For example, he would always drive around any building three times before entering it, and he would only stay in hotels with room numbers that were divisible by three. He even lived on the 33rd floor of the New Yorker Hotel in New York City, and his room number was 3327, a number that he believed had special significance because it added up to nine. Three plus three equals six, and two plus seven equals nine. But why was Tesla so obsessed with these numbers? Some people believe that his interest in them was related to his work on pyramidal shapes and mathematical logarithms. Tesla believed that these figures were the cardinal numbers of a universal math language, 
and he would not use or do anything that did not result in the number 3 or a multiple of it. Some have suggested that Tesla saw these numbers as representing the fundamental building blocks of the universe, with 3 representing the base unit, 6 representing the doubling of 3, and 9 representing the completion of a cycle. Tesla's fascination with these numbers was not limited to their theoretical significance. However, he reportedly used them in his work on electricity and magnetism, experimenting with alternating current frequencies based on these numbers. Tesla believed that by using these frequencies, he could tap into a universal energy source and create devices that could power the world without the need for fossil fuels or other limited resources. Interestingly, Tesla's obsession with these numbers is not just a quirky personality trait. There are actually patterns in nature and mathematics that support his beliefs. For example, in vortex mathematics, certain number patterns repeat themselves over and over again, but the numbers 3, 6, and 9 do not follow this pattern. These forms are also found in nature, and ancient people emulated them in their construction of the Great Pyramids. The Design of the Great Pyramid The Great Pyramid of Giza, one of the seven wonders of the world, remains a marvel of ancient engineering. Its size, accuracy, and alignment with the true north have left scientists and historians baffled for centuries. Built over 4,500 years ago, the pyramid comprises 2.5 million blocks of stone, weighing a total of 6 million tons. Its height of 481 feet and footprint of over 13 acres are awe-inspiring in themselves, but it's the precision of the pyramid's alignment that continues to mystify scholars. The pyramid's alignment with True North is precise to within 1 15th of a degree, a level of accuracy that is still remarkable even by modern engineering standards. The base of the pyramids is level with 3 quarters of an inch, and each side is within 2 inches of the other, despite being over 755 feet long. Interestingly, the pyramid sides are not perfectly straight. They are slightly concave, which is only visible when viewed from above or during the equinoxes when the pyramid casts a shadow. This in itself is a testament to the advanced knowledge of the pyramid's builders. But what's most remarkable about the pyramid's alignment is that it appears to indicate the builder's understanding of the size and dimensions of the earth. If you multiply the pyramid's height by 43,200, you get a figure that's within 11 miles of the earth's polar radius. Similarly, if you multiply the base of the perimeter of the pyramid by 43,200, you get a figure that's the same as the Earth's equatorial circumference. How did the ancient builders of the pyramid achieve this level of accuracy? One theory is that they used the equinox, the point at which the sun's path intersects with the equator, to align the pyramid. The length of the day and night during an equinox is 43,200 seconds, which may be why this figure appears in the pyramid's measurements. Engineer Glenn Dash believes that the ancient Egyptians may have used the fall equinox to achieve perfect alignment for the pyramid. According to Dash, the fall equinox could have provided accurate measurements using a no man to cast a shadow. By tracking the point of the shadow during the 2016 fall equinox, Dash was able to create a smooth curve of points that indicated with a tall piece of string wrapped around a pole. This method, known as the Indian Circle method, produced an almost perfect line running east to west similar to the alignment of the pyramid. Despite its accuracy, there is still a very slight discrepancy of 1 360th of a degree error in the pyramid's alignment, but this is considered inconsequential given that the pyramid was built over 4,500 years ago during the Dark Ages. Its builders had no access to modern technology or tools, making the pyramid's alignment and precision all the more remarkable. The Great Pyramid of Giza is known for its massive size and impressive structure but it also has interesting properties that are related to energy and electricity. The exterior of the pyramid is made of white tufa limestone, which is an insulator of electricity due to the lack of magnesium. On the other hand, the interior and chambers of the pyramid are made of material that conducts electricity, allowing for the control of energy release from within. The blocks used in the inner parts of the pyramid are made from limestone stones containing small amounts of crystals and metals, which allow for the transmission of maximum power. The Great Pyramid has similarities to Tesla's tower, as they both work on the principle of wireless energy. Elements that allow for wireless power include the sun, water under the tower or pyramid, and the tower's height in the air. The top of the pyramid is made of gold, a great electrical conductor, while the middle is granite, which acts as an energy transceiver. The pyramid concentrates electromagnetic energy in its internal chambers and under its base, and radio waves with a resonant length of 200 to 600 meters can induce resonances, according to a 2018 study. In conclusion, Nikola Tesla's visionary ideas and groundbreaking work have left a lasting impact on our understanding of energy and power transmission.
Although his dream of providing limitless and clean energy to the world through wireless transmission was never fully realized, his legacy continues to inspire scientists and engineers to pursue new and innovative ways of harnessing the Earth's natural energy resources. Perhaps one day, with advancements in technology and a renewed focus on sustainability, Tesla's dream of a world powered by limitless energy may become a reality. Thank you for watching this video till the end. Remember to subscribe to the channel, hit the like button, and don't forget to ring that bell icon.